and see what he can do in the midst of unbelievers on the leading edge with his word, his power, his grace, and his mercy. For God's sakes, we're Lutheran. This is what we know. Wittenberg Project. Like, comment, subscribe. This might be to be for the Patreon, though. It's something I was thinking about. And this is kind of a subtweet to the higher ups if they had to release it. Majority of people don't know that black Lutherans exist. I've heard this, it was said to me recently, but I'm seeing it more and more. I'm my place back with Christ because I've been out there. I'm not going to name them, but I've been right. out there, you know. So I found myself back with Christ. So I'm listening to my gospel music again, you know, and then extra notes hit me. And I was like, wow. He's saying everything that I thought, but I didn't have like a, a religion to put it in, you know? Right. Yeah. And, um, and I never studied the, the Lutherans at all. Like I never even thought about studying the Lutherans. So it especially didn't... since like um, I started this channel, but then especially since like with the artist flame coming out and things of that nature and more spotlight and highlight. A lot of people have no idea. I don't even say our history because a lot of people don't know the history of their own tradition. But the concept that there are black Lutherans is sworn as even an option. That's even an option. And I have to say that considering our history of having a, one of the earliest black colleges, our history in regards to just the South, the Selma area, how Mother Lutheran, uh, Rosa Young, we have to do a better job, and I'm not clergy, I'm not, you know, so for the past umpteen years, this failure, I mean, sometimes we have to take our own, take our own blame, we have to realize that we didn't put it out there. We didn't make it a, a known fact. And I think a lot of that goes to the, our, our Lutheran culture of, uh, we kind of keep to ourselves. You know, we kind of, through school, educating, and things of that nature, reach out and it's more so hearsay that people learn about us and come about to understanding Lutheranism. That happened with me, to be honest with you. Um, luckily, it, it happened with Flame by chance for deciding to go to college. I won't say college like he didn't have a degree already, but well, you know a story, you know a story. Uh, how he ended up at Concordia, uh, St. Louis. Um, same way Anastasius. It's not as if someone approached him like, hey, have you looked at Lutheranism? It, it, it just happens in a sense. But on a broad level, we have to put ourselves out there more. And um, I'm stumbling over my words because I don't want to turn this into a... Uh, uh, Lex talking about certain interactions and certain things that has transpired over the years and this and that between me and others. But I will say that there has to be more of an effort. There has to be more. Something I always say is, is if we truly feel our confession is the most biblically accurate, it, it should break our heart that our community only really sees other, other heterodox groups as the norm as their only option, you know? Like, it, it either has to be Baptist, Methodist, or um, non-denominational or Pentecostal. If it's not those, and that sounds like a broad list, you know? I mean, there's people who, and th this isn't due to the numbers, the numbers are kind of wild on this, but some people don't realize they're black Catholics. Like, they think they don't view Catholics as having that when there's many of African-American Catholics, many of them. You know, and that's more ignorance in a sense. It's not as if there aren't that many and the, the few have to highlight it. That's just them going by what they know and what they see. And what they see in their community is, is, oh, Big Mama's Baptist. Oh, my auntie, she speaks in tongues. Oh, and they're just surrounded by that. I mean, a perfect example, and it's a classic example, is I don't recall ever seeing really or hearing about black Calvinists until the CHH movement happened. And that's basically a highlight of people saying, oh, what's this they're talking about? These other black people, and they're so proud and so 
gung ho about it. Let me look at it and see what they're talking about. And then they learn and they slowly but surely got grafted into that theology system. Sad to say. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't say that. But there has to be more effort. And I truly hope that the effort that me, Anastasius, um, Flame, and others are trying to do gets out there. Because after that day, I was like, listen, I might be the only black guy here. Right. This is, I need this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, right, right. Man, I mean, it's, it's so freeing, man. Like, I'm so, man, I I, I love y'all so much, man, for introducing you, me to that. Like, for real. Oh, man. I didn't, knew nothing about it. And man, like, for instance, President John Nunes, he's not currently president, but I still refer to him as that with utmost respect. Brilliant man. Brilliant man. You know, a lot of people don't know his credentials or anything in regards to him. And like, there's certain things that need to be highlighted and should be showcased. Like we're in 2022 in social media. There has to be a way to get the word out about certain things. Like I've been a Lutheran for a lot of years, a lot of years. Right. And let me tell you this. I had no idea about the black uh, convocation where a lot of black Lutherans in the South area get together and fellowship. I had no idea about it. And I'm on social media, so I can't sit here and blame it as if I'm just some, I, I mean, I'm, I am pretty shy and pretty humble and quiet, to be honest with you. You know, like, yeah, I'm an introvert, you know, real talk. But I'm still on social media. I still listen to Lutheran podcasts, Lutheran sermons, uh, read up on things going on within Lutheranism. How come I never seen this or heard of this? And I can't just put it on, well, the LCMS or the this, they need to put it in your face more. No. No. I mean, kind of, they could. But what I'm saying is, is the orange also has to fall on the people, or the people who are going to the convocation, who are throwing the convocation to put the word out there. Like, yo, you guys are more than welcome to hear this law gospel. This is for you too. It's for everybody. For everybody. So, that's just on my heart. There's nothing really deep about this rant. I'm just driving home. Actually, I'm going to meet my pastor right now to hang out, you know. So, hey, it is what it is. I'll probably do something longer on it, more professional, you know. <clears throat> Anyhow, God bless Lutheran, yeah, Wittenberg Project, Holler at your boy.